Okay, so let's talk about your financial situation. I know this is going to be an uncomfortable conversation to have, but if I don't have it with you right now through this video, you may lose a lot of money, right? So we need to talk about it. Whether or not you are in debt right now, whether or not you are broke, whether or not you are just making your first sales online, all the way to becoming more successful, like three, four, five K a month, all the way to 10 to 15, 20 K plus per month. It's really important that you understand this way of thinking around your finances because I think if you don't and you take too long to learn this lesson, this frame, this way of thinking, uh, you're going to end up potentially blowing a lot of your money. And if you're a debt and, and broke right now, this may be applicable to you in how you've actually gotten to the situation. And the key to solving problems is self-awareness and understanding that the problem is there and why it is there in the first place. Now, the reason I'm making this video is I've had many one-on-one -on -one conversations with a lot of my clients now who are making 10, 11, 12K a month, 15K a month, and so on. And all of them are young people too, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24 plus. And a recurring theme that I've seen across the board is that a lot of them lack financial literacy in the way that not understanding how to save and build wealth and spend appropriately. And for myself personally, you have to understand if you've seen some of my videos in the past and looking at where the business is at now, what my monthly income is now, I'm not going to talk about it here, but you can go look, look for that if you want to. Uh, from going from $30 an hour all the way to where I am now, those financial habits have still stayed and that's what's enabled me to accumulate my wealth so quickly, right? And not have to worry about stress constraints of money and lack and thereof because I know how to appropriately save. For myself personally, when I was getting into high ticket sales and doing this type of stuff, my total calculated budget, I'd spent maybe like $800 a month on rent because I took the master bedroom in a three bedroom uh, like townhouse. And then my other one was $1,100 or $1,200 a month or something like that for a year straight. I lived in Brisbane, Australia and I also lived in Gold Coast, Australia for a year as well. And outside of rent, my general spending, sure, like it would go over sometimes, but even if I was making ten, fifteen, twenty-five thousand dollars a month, I would only spend about a thousand dollars a month on other expenses. If you're a single person, right, man or woman, you should have the ability to actually live below your means in that way. Now, I'm not talking like I was living on noodles and this and that or ramen, ramen noodles, right? I wasn't living on that diet. I was actually living on good food. I was cooking, I was eating healthy, right? And you can absolutely do this too. You just have to think in the right way. I think I see this very common recurring theme across younger people. Like I'm 23, but, and I'm still on the younger side of things. I might, I might be getting old, but, um, that's another, this is another point for another day. Uh, you can save appropriately and set yourself up for the future. And don't get me wrong. I was spending money on other things, but the thing was I was spending the money on the right things. I wasn't spending it on alcohol or partying or going out or doing this or the newest clothes or the newest phone like I had a really shitty phone for a long time before I decided to upgrade. I only decided to upgrade like almost like a year ago when a friend practically forced me. Uh, there's a difference between being, uh, ah, what's the word? The difference between being frugal and scarce, right? Scarcity mindset, poverty mindset, whatever you kind of want to call it. And what I want you to take away from this video is that you can be frugal without acting super poor, being broke or being one of those people who say, give me $3 for this Uber that we just did, right? You never want to be that person. I never had to be that person either. Uh, but for four or five years straight, just coming back to the point, that's where I spent the majority of my money. The majority of my money was spent on accumulating skills and getting better. Right, I always invested it into myself. Like I've invested 
just in the last three months, 24,000 in a, in a new coach in the business. I've invested uh, about 17 or 18,000 in a coach back in October. I spent 3.3K uh, on a PT recently. I spent, when I started my agency, like around like 19 grand on a mentor plus other accumulated expense, expenses. I've spent 20 grand up front uh, working with one of my mentors, Jeremy, on sales training. You guys get the gist. I've always put my money towards my skills and that is why I am at the level of success that I am today. But most people spend a lot of their money on shit that literally does not matter. Could be the newest clothes and don't get me wrong, like don't be looking like a bum and like wearing shitty clothes and so on. But be conservative with how you spend. Be be frugal, right? Be smart with how you spend your money. And on that budget that I just mentioned, especially in Australia, I didn't have to be one of those guys that I mentioned that was like, can you send me a dollar for this this dish soap, bro? Like, that was not me at all. But I was always just aware of my inflow and my outflow. And even now, I'm starting to have to learn to get out of that a little bit because it served me up into where I am now today. But I spend... On most times in Dubai, uh, you know, fifteen percent of what I make on, on personal income expenses, uh, and that's that's being absolutely stupid, like completely silly, just spending stuff on stuff that doesn't matter to me at all, uh, or that's just kind of just spending above my means, basically. And when I'm not in Dubai, it was less than ten percent, right? Maybe like five to ten percent I would spend of what I would make. So. The biggest problem that I see across the board is like having good financial literacy. And this doesn't mean, like I mentioned, you have to pick up a book. I've never picked up a book on financial literacy. This is just the way that I think. And I think that you should think somewhat similar to the way that I think too, because it's, it's got me to where I am today. And hopefully that can put you in the right direction. The, the final thing I kind of want to share with you is something that I call lifestyle creep. I've heard a couple people give this, this name or this title, this label to what this actually is, but it's something to be aware of, especially if you're becoming more successful or if even, like I mentioned before, you're in debt and you're completely broke, you can be a victim of this. And what happens is as you increase your income, you increase your expenses too. You feel the need to get back to the the week to week, the the month to month cycle, right? The day to day cycle, even for some people, right? As you increase your expenses, that doesn't as as you increase your income, it doesn't mean you have to increase your expenses. If you're making 10, 15, 20 k a month right now, which I know the majority watch my YouTube channel probably aren't. That's why you watch my YouTube channel to to make money online and be more successful. Uh, make sure that you spend a certain amount of what you make and keep a budget every single month. Think smart, right? If you actually take a hold of your financial situation, you have no idea where you could be in a much shorter period duration of time. Going and spending things on like consumer debt as well, like it is one thing that I have... Uh, take a notice of as well like i don't spend money on consumer debt like i'll only spend money on a credit card if it's something that's going to make me money basically so a business investment but other than that that's pretty much what i wanted to say on this topic because i again i just wanted to i wanted to talk about this because whether or not you're at dead broke or paycheck to paycheck or you're at 5 10 20k a month it's even with the guys who are making fifty to a hundred thousand dollars a month, or even beyond that. I've seen this on a recurring theme. They spend money on things they don't need. They live above their means. They go spend this. They go buy that. They go buy this car for like absolutely no reason. Which fine, you know, enjoy the luxuries of what you've earned and, and what you've built. But to a certain element and to a certain degree, right? All I'm saying is just be careful with your financial spendings develop some financial literacy. If that involves picking up a book and learning how to appropriately save and invest your money, then absolutely do it, right? I strongly encourage that. Uh, but yeah, that's all I wanted to talk about today. I, it's, a, it's a topic I'm pretty passionate about. So hopefully you learn something and hopefully 
we can put you in a better financial situation. If not now, then in the future.